One thing that I can relate with the videos that has been released by BBC on TB Joshua is that I can see myself in that story. It is relatable to me based on what has happened to me personally. I've worked for a three different churches and experienced a similar scenario whereby you can't report, you can't complain whenever you want to look for help within the same system nobody is willing to assist you you become helpless and you think like the world is about to crumble one of the bone of contention or the uh, what has been the ongoing debate was the fact that how can we authenticate these stories the fact that there is the daughter of tb joshua in that story makes it very 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 authentic and I know Solomon Ijang Ashoms was talking about this for the longest time that I've known him. And he actually had to exile himself to South Africa because being in Nigeria, the Nigerians, they don't want with their TB Joshua. Why? Because he has got connections in government, he's got connections with governments all around Africa and around the world. So now, what I can tell you is, I've worked close to the guys from Emmanuel TV. One of the people, Evangelist Tonge, I know him personally. And there's another one uh, he's got, uh, who keeps long hair, a white guy. I know him personally. And there is a lady that used to work at Emmanuel TV from around 2009, 2010, somewhere there. I remember trying to make my moves towards her, like, you know, try to talk to her in a way where I was trying to ask for a date or something like that. And from the day I asked her that she stopped talking to me, like it was a closed case, like she no longer wants to hear anything about me. And I was wondering, what could this be? And I realized that what these people are saying, that they were in close, they were told not to engage in any, any relationship. So this is my experience. And the second thing is, I hear a lot of people saying that I went to TB Joshua, I had this problem and I got healed. I went to TB Joshua and I had this problem and I got healed. One thing that you must understand is that the devil can also heal. The devil can heal too. He can cause sickness and he can bring his same agents to cause that sickness to disappear because he has been allowed to do that. He has been allowed to play around with our flesh in this world. When Jesus was approached by the devil, the devil confirmed this, that I've been given power of all the kingdoms of this earth. And Jesus didn't deny that. So the kingdoms of this world, they belong to the devil. And he has the power to control them, including the sicknesses and all of that. So he has the power and he can bring agents to do that. And one thing that is very, very interesting in the Bible that Jesus mentioned was that he said in the book of Matthew, chapter 24, that many on that day they shall come in my name and say, we did so many miracles in your name. And in doing so many miracles, then God, Jesus will say, I will tell them plainly that I never knew you. So how come they were using the name of Jesus to perform miracles? You can use the name of Jesus to perform miracles, and miracles can happen. In the book of Isaiah chapter 4, it speaks of seven women coming to one man. And they'll say, we will have our own food, we have our own apparel, but we only want to be called by your name. That scripture being interpreted, it shows us that people are going to use the name of God, the name of Jesus, because if they come in the name of Satan, you are going, immediately going to dismiss them. But if they come in the name of Jesus, they are going to use the name of Jesus to perform miracles, to do their thing. But in them doing so, they say, we only want to be called in the name of Jesus. They only want to be called in the name of that man. They are going to hold on to that man. So they are going to use the Bible of the man, which is the man Jesus. They are going to use the name of the man, which is Jesus. And they are going to pretend like they belong to the men, but they are women 
who have got their own means, they have got their own doctrine, and they have got their own food. Food, and, I mean, doctrine and food and apparel, they are all known in the Bible to be representing preaching. And the food is also representing preaching. So, you might be wondering, so how did he perform all those miracles without Jesus? He only used the name Jesus. But he had his own doctrine and his own food that he was giving to the people. We are hearing of the rituals that were performed and all of that. So, the Bible then also gives us another hint that by their fruits you know them. There is no smoke without fire. People cannot just hate on T.B. Joshua. And you are given the truth by the people who worked there. Same applies I came about a few months ago and talked about the road that is in Zaheja. There is no smoke without fire. A lot of people in Zaheja, they know this. And there are some people who are inside a synagogue church of all nations. They know this. And even the name synagogue in the Bible, synagogue, was known to be a name. It is not found in the scripture. It's just like the name Pharisees. Pharisees were never part of the Mosaic law, but they were there in the time of Jesus. Mosaic law never introduced something called a synagogue. They only had a tabernacle of congregation, which had the Ark of the Covenant. And then we hear when the time of Solomon, that's when we hear about the building of the temple. Those are the two concrete, these are the two places of worship that were introduced by Moses. We don't hear anything about the synagogue. The synagogue was a making of the Jews during the time when there was when God was not speaking. So, in conclusion, I can tell you that as much as you have got the evidence of healing, there are so many people who have got evidence of healing from witch doctors. There are so many people who have got evidence of healing from all these people that I are seeing all around the world in different religions. But does this mean these religions are from God? Definitely not. As I was saying from the beginning that the devil can bring sickness. After bringing sickness, he can remove it. What he wants is people, they are supposed to follow the man. When people follow the man, they are actually abandoning Christ. Because the moment that people say we are following T.B. Joshua, they are actually worshipping the creature or which is they are worshipping the devil. And in the end, that's what the devil wants to, 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 to achieve. The devil is not after your money. The devil is not after your health. The devil is after your soul. Because your soul is what is very, very important to him. So what is important for you to understand is that you might be healed, yes. You might have uh, a financial breakthrough. You might have seen miracles happening in your life. But at the end of the day, what the devil wants to achieve is to make you to believe in his doctrine. And that is the same way how T.B. Joshua was used. That's my submission on the issue of T.B. Joshua. But tell me what you think about this documentary. Personally, the events in this documentary hit home to me because I have experienced similar scenarios in different churches and all you do is to pray to god because you would imagine somebody that is stolen from you as a man of god and he says they've taken money from you like taken money from your salary and they took that money and they put it in their pocket and they say this is my money and the same person is coming out and is preaching and you're wondering which God are they preaching when they have done an injustice to me to take what I depend on and they put it in their pocket? This is the same scenario whereby you find people have no strength to fight because these institutions are built in order to protect the leader. Once that happens, anyone who wants to complain they are out. Just the same as you are seeing right now what is unfolding in the TDJX story. And there are a whole lot of people who can't fight them whilst they're inside. Otherwise, the people inside, they will trample on you and you have no way to go. See you on the next video. Please subscribe and like and share this video.